What's up? So I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about Cybertruck and Tesla in general, climate controls and all the options, including hold mode, camp mode, dog mode, and bioweapons defense. Let's look at it. So when you get into a Tesla, the first thing you're gonna care about for the climate control is this right here. This is the temperature that you want your vehicle to be. And you set that once and you pretty much forget it. You've got more climate control options whenever you open this up, but just looking at the ones that are available all the time, I've got my heated and cooled seats right here. I've got cooled seats on now. And if you have another passenger set in here and there's weight detected, they will have their own set of climate controls here. You can split them or sync them. We just leave it synced. I don't like the whole split functionality, but you have that if you want. And then when you open this up, you've got vent control. So I can move this vent around in real time and it's gonna control the motorized vents that are underneath here. And you can feel that air coming out really nicely. It moves um, all of this in real time. I'll leave my wife's vents alone. Down here, we've also got, you know, defrost, heated steering wheel. Bioweapons defense mode is a real special mode that enables a HEPA filter. You can hear it kick on very, very clean air coming through a HEPA filter. Tesla has a lot of cool videos on this. I'm gonna turn it off because it's so loud. Tesla has a lot of cool videos on this showing like how they, they put a Model Y in a bag of red smoke and like no red smoke comes in. So really nice for polluted air or a gas truck going in front of you and smoking you out because they uh, love to do that. They think they're so cool. Other controls here, we can go to the rear and move their vents around. They can also control their vents back here on this screen. We've also got a center vent that we can move around. There are heated seats in the back as well. So that's pretty much it for your basic climate controls. You also have the option to schedule. So you can say, you know, every day at 7 a.m., whatever I leave for work or school, whatever it is, and the car will be ready at the temperature that you want, the one that you've set here um, for you every day on your drive. It also um, conditions the battery and gets the battery warmed up and ready to go. But as for the main additional modes, there's keep, dog mode, and camp mode. And these are special modes for keeping the climate active whenever you're not sitting in the driver's seat. Anytime you're sitting in the seats, the climate's gonna be on, no problem. You don't have to worry about it. But whenever you get out of the car and walk away, the climate's gonna turn off. On that note, you can set up overheat protection, which is a really nice feature for keeping your car from overheating. You can say automatically turn on the climate control if the cabin reaches 90, 95, 100 degrees. These are super nice. Back to these special three modes here. Keep is going to let you leave the vehicle and keep the climate on. This is something that I never really use. Typically, I just do it from my phone. You know, if I'm sitting down for lunch or we go to a movie or something, and then we're coming back to the car in the middle of the summer or in the middle of the winter, I just pop open my phone app and turn on the climate and we always arrive at a comfortable car, you know, as we're walking out of wherever we're coming from. But you can also do that with this keep, maybe you're running into the grocery store for 20 minutes and you just want it to stay on the whole time, whatever that may be. Dog mode, pretty much what it sounds like, you can leave an animal in the car and it's gonna give you, if I left the car, we'd see a special graphic that says, uh, you know, this is a comfortable temperature, the dog is safe. It says something on the screen so that if someone's looking in your car and sees your dog, they're not gonna be freaking out and trying to break your glass to save your dog that's, you know, sitting at a nice comfortable temp temperature. Uh, and then camp mode is basically dog mode for people. This would allow me to go into the back or essentially leave the seats and where the climate would normally turn off I can be in the back, I could be sleeping back there, I could be camping, whatever it may be. My climate control is gonna stay on. And then I'm gonna also retain um, access to, you know, watching things in theater. I could watch Netflix or whatever without it automatically shutting off on me because it thinks I'm not in the vehicle. So camp mode, uh, dog mode, and keep mode, they're all pretty similar. They just have slightly different use cases and how they work. All of these modes will automatically shut off if the vehicle reaches 20%, except for dog mode, because your dog would die. Um, but camp and keep will shut off when it hits 20%. My garage light kicked off on me automatically, but you can see 
the cool ambient lighting now as we're finishing talking about the climate settings. But this has been everything you need to know about the climate settings. Um, Tesla has really awesome settings for all these different climate options and ways to configure it how you want for really any use case. And the settings are also redundant in the mobile app as well. So you can control this stuff from anywhere. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions for the next video, please let me know. Thank you for the comment on camp mode. I decided to just do all the climate stuff at once because camp mode is just one little piece of it. But thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for more content. Thanks.